ladies. I have a long drive ahead of me. I'm going to a vendor event. So I thought this might be the perfect time that I could talk about some of the questions that um, everyone's had since they have launched um, with our now Coco Exchange. So um, kind of in the same boat, when I, when I launched, um, I signed up on my own. So I didn't really have um, a sponsor or a mentor. So I've kind of learned a lot of things by trial and error, by asking a lot of questions, by reading the entire back office, every single training they had on there, every single video on YouTube. Um, so for those of you that joined in February, from what I understand is that you're technically not launching till March 1st, which is Wednesday. Um, so you had a little extra time and you've got the brand new kit and then um, your quick start will actually reset from what I what we were told is March 1st so you have plenty of time to earn those um, the 15 day um, incentive and then your $500 incentive and, and uh, 1000 1500 2000 and so on okay now what I did is actually before I ordered my kit I told all my friends, all my family, my neighbors, people I worked with, I literally told strangers, I told everybody, hey, I'm doing this thing called Dove Chocolate Discovery. So I guess you would, you know, say, hey, you know, I'm doing this thing, it's called the Cocoa Exchange, you know, it's it's a Mars Corporation. We always try to kind of mention Mars somewhere. That's just for brand recognition because a lot of people know who Mars is. Some people are like, Mars, who are they? And then you go m, &M oh yeah, okay, the candy company. But truthfully, Mars is actually much more than candy. So if you look up their holdings, they have Uncle Ben's rice, they own dog food, protein bars. So they actually have a lot more than um, just candy. So I go and I tell everybody about the Cocoa Exchange and um, kind of develop some ideas of how to sell the product. Now, obviously, they are really high up on the party plan, and that's that's tremendous. That's that's fine. But there's other ways that you can sell your product too. Me personally, I do a ton of vendor events. You know, I live in Florida. We're always having festivals, events, um, you know, all sorts of markets and farmers markets. I mean, just a ton of things. So I have been real successful at selling a lot of product during vendor events. How did I do that? Well, truthfully, last year Mars had a lot of sales. So I have a cold storage in Tampa and I happen to have um, the capital enough to buy a product. I'm not saying you have to do that. That's just what I, I've, I've done, you know. So back to the party plan. So I started out doing a lot of parties. All my friends and family wanted to jump on board. They just thought it was so interesting, so cool. Something for everyone. 99% of our products will appeal to someone. I mean, you've got to be allergic to cocoa to not want to um, purchase any of our products. And so you start out with developing parties with your friends and families. And then, you know, at the same time, kind of like talk about fundraising. You know, I've done a lot of fundraising. Now, obviously, you're going to be giving back a little bit of your profit doing that. But if you remember, at 1600 or under 1600 we get 25% profit. But once you go over 1600 then you're adding another 5%. And then once you go over 2400 then you're adding another 5%. And when you go over 3200 you're adding another 5% to equal 40. So sometimes your fundraisers can like bump you to that next level if they're successfully done. So that way, even though you might be giving 10%, you're still hopefully going to earn that extra 5 so you're really only giving away 5%, if that makes sense, and then so on. So fundraising, great opportunity, and you can do it, you know, cash and carry or just the form, or um, I believe they're still going to have the e-commerce way of doing fundraising. Another thing, corporate events. My boyfriend's a horticulturist, and he has booked me so many events in corporate buildings. I mean, it's amazing that you would not think of this, of having uh, a vendor at a, a company. And I do that, and now I do that four or five times a year. So any large building that would house a lot of offices, find out if there's a concierge, because nine times out of 10, they're going to allow vendors to come in and set up either, um, some buildings I'm set up in the conference room and the other ones I'm set up in the lobby. So that's another um, good idea. Hospitals, many hospitals allow vendors to come in and, you know, and do, and 
do a, a sale there. Sometimes you have to get a little bit back and that's not a problem, especially when you're start just starting a business. You have to remember, it takes a little bit of money to make money, so you can't just go in to the Cobo Exchange and expect you're not gonna spend any money. Business doesn't work that way. You've gotta have a little bit of capital to you know reach out to many people, whether it's a little bit of advertising, it's your samples, it's giving away a percentage of your profit to fundraisers where you're gonna make even more contacts. So it's kind of a rolling kind of a situation where the more people that you tell about the Cobo Exchange, then the more people you're gonna find that you know wanna partner with you or wanna have an experience or you know, or is gonna tell somebody about it. So um, that works. Now, excuse me, I haven't even done this a year yet. It won't be a, me a year until the beginning of May, excuse me. I'm doing a lot of talking, I need some to drink. So, um, but when I look back in the last 10 months or so, you know, I, I'm pretty happy with what I've done, but I'm oh, there's always room for improvement. So I look back at some of my events and I'm like, how could I have I made that better? So don't forget that just the first time, if you're nervous or you're scared, and for most of you, I, I have gone to your launch because that's what I'm trying to do. I go to your first launch. But just think back, you know, what could have I done better? And then, you know, jot some notes and then think about it and see if you can improve. Um, you know, my biggest success is just telling everyone about it, basically. Um, it's interesting to people. <coughs> they probably never heard of it depending on what part of the country you're in and it's food <laughs> I mean everybody has to eat why not eat good stuff right and as you know we've got a lot more coming out Wednesday we have four barbecue sauces um, that are launching March 1st we have truffles now which is gonna be awesome for Mother's Day and Easter we've got the toffee that so many people have asked me about We've got um, more spices, we've got meal starters coming out, and, and now we're gonna have three hot sauces. And I've tried the green chili, and it's, oh my gosh, it's so, so wonderful. It really is, it's so good. And then of course, all of our other wonderful products. We've got new uh, tuna martini mixes coming out. So we've got a lot going on. We've got the pure dark slabs. We've got a lot more pure dark products where a lot of the people who are kind of foodies, if you will, really enjoy that pure dark experience so we've got a lot to work with and um, everything tastes great so it's just all about getting the product in front of people basically and to kind of segue on that point go ahead and do Facebook parties if that's your thing it just isn't mine but go ahead a lot of the other you know reps are successful at them so we do have a training about Facebook uh, party, so go ahead and do that, and they're gonna have a lot of photos for that. And don't forget, you should be following, if possible, if you have Facebook, the main Mars DCD, now called TCE, Facebook page and website and recipe blog. So you should be on those and regularly checking those out. <coughs> Especially the recipe blog, give you great ideas for trying our samples, that's for sure. Just type in the product in the search box and then you know you should be able to, to find a lot of interesting recipes for each product that we have um, in the new catalog that comes out March 1st. Now, let me give you a hint, especially for those of you who are new, you would have gotten a 50% off up to $100 coupon. Use that, okay, for your samples. So that means you're only paying half price for your samples. Then you're gonna get one every month depending on the level of your sales. The more you sell, the bigger your discount is, okay? Do not buy anything other than your supply coupon orders on the business supply end. Everything else should be a single order so you're getting the commission, okay? I've had a couple of you I know, um, if my, my older girls that are watching had made that mistake, I made the same mistake, I had no idea. So you only want to buy up to what your supply coupon is on the business supply. Everything else, you're placing a single order for yourself in there so you get that commission and that goes towards your personal sales. So again, this is very important. Only order on business supply up to whatever coupon you have for that month. Everything else, you need to put on a single order, okay, to be fair to yourself because eventually, obviously, you're selling that product to someone, okay? 
and those supply coupons are kind of in the middle of the business supply. It'll have a little section. This is coupon, and it'll show up what percentage you have. Okay. For those of you that are building your own team, after you go through your quick start, when anybody under you uh, builds their team, you're going to get what's called Coco Cash. So don't forget about that. And then you can use Coco Cash to buy product too. And I happen to use mine to um, register for the next conference. Conferences are great because they are um, where we try new products, we meet other people, we exchange ideas, they're a lot of fun. So this year it's in Orlando in July, I think the 21st or the 23rd, something like that. It's always a Friday through a Sunday. I'm thrilled because, you know, I get to drive there. Um, so it's going to be a lot of fun. It'll be the first Coco Exchange conference, so hopefully everybody um, can make it. But, um, but that's all for now. I will be back tomorrow for more tips. Okay, bye.